Hello everyone. We will entering into the next machines topic that is the DC machines. Okay. We have in the DC machine subject we have number of we have number of types of machines are available. So here we have generally you know the types of machines. Generally briefly we have types of machines we can divide very briefly. Those are like this. Machines means electrical machines itself. Those are the first thing always we should discuss about the transformer. Second thing is the induction machines. And third thing is the DC machines. And fourth thing is the synchronous machines. These are the types of machines. In these machines, we have some similar characteristics between the transformer and the induction machines. And same as above thing, we have similar characteristics between the DC machines and the synchronous machines. So before after the completion of DC machines, we will discuss the synchronous machines. So it is a better thing. So always first we will discuss about the transformers. Then after that we will discuss about the induction machines. And maybe you can follow the any order, but it is very easy to analyze. It is easy to analyze. So here the DC machines. DC machines is nothing but simply DC electrical machines. DC electrical machines. So name itself here the DC machines are deals with DC supply. It have DC supply. That means so generally any machine you know that simply any machine it will take up it will take some input and it will give some output. Generally the electrical machines purpose is input may be the maybe input if, if, if the input is mechanical then it will generate the electrical if the input is electrical then it will generate the mechanical like that so like this so depends on this that means here we can divide so divide de depends on the input and output things we can divide these DC machines are two types one is DC generator and that one is the DC motor here the name itself DC generator generator means it generate power that means it generate DC electrical power DC electrical power that means DC electrical power means it will generate DC voltage and the DC current and it so any generator means it generates electrical power and it will take some mechanical power mechanical power like that so this is the DC generator what about DC motor DC motor is reverse that means it will take the input is electrical input electrical input but that electrical input is nothing but it will take the DC voltage and the DC current then it will generate mechanical power it will generate the mechanical power so here the thing so DC generator it's itself means it will take the it will generate the DC power and DC motor itself it will it will take the DC electrical power that means so it completely de deals with the DC supply it completely deals with the DC supply that's why it is called the DC machine DC machine but what about the remaining machines if you look at this transformer is deals with AC supply you know that induction machine also is nothing but the AC supply and synchronous machine also the AC supply but the only this machine particularly takes the DC supply that's why it is the DC machine so remaining all the machines are the AC machines this is only the DC machine that's why particularly it name it as a DC machine itself that means it is the DC generator or the DC motor DC generator or the DC motor okay so this is about the introduction of the DC machine here so you know that similar to the any other machine every machine every motor or every generator have the same things that is the 
it must and should have some field and it has some armature and generally this field and armature common for the remaining machines that means for the induction machine these two are common and for the synchronous machines transformer is a different case there is no rotating parts actually but these two are related to these things but the most important and different from the other machines commutator is then an extra part and very important part this part will decides this part will decides the working of dc machine so this is a very very important thing commutator commutator is a very very important thing so these are the main parts of the dc machines so generally these two parts are the same for the all the machines but the commutator is the a different part compared with the other machines so in that field you have some idea about the field field is nothing but the part which is useful to generate the required magnetic flux so generally you know that to generate any torque or any emf we required if the torque is there we require generally some constant into flux into some current so to generate the torque so we will discuss here one thing so so for motor generally what is the requirement of the motor we have to generate the mechanical power that means we have to generate the torque torque is generally it is some constant into flux into armature current here this flux represents the this flux this flux is generated by this field okay so this is about this is the importance of the field but for every machine this field and armature will be changed in the dc machines itself it is a stationary part it is not rotating it is a stationary part in case of the dc machines what about armature you know the armature armature is simply it is a collection of conductors and here it is a rotating part look at here this ia is there in this ia is nothing but the armature conductor armature current so this armature current is generated by the armature conductors so this is the field or flux this is the field or flux okay right so it is the rotating part generally it is the rotating one it is a collection of conduct it is a rotating part so for every dc machines this is the common thing this is the stationary part and this is the rotating part and now the third important part here the commutator here is the commutator look at here look at here commutator is a device which is useful to convert ac supply to dc supply or or from dc supply to ac supply so this is the thing look at here commutator did two works the first work is the it is a commutator which converts if we have we have the some ac signal ac power is there it will convert into the dc power and it can do the another work or otherwise the commutator is the device it will take dc power and it will be converted into the ac power so this is the important of the commutator why we are using means so although it is a dc machine the most important thing but inside conductors generate the ac that is most important thing conductors generate or generate ac second thing conductors take ac supply take ac supply so conductor generate ac means it is can it is in case of the generator generator okay and conductor takes dc supply it is in case of the motor so these two things means inside it has the ac supply that's why the conversion is the very very important case here so we required conversion is very very important case that's why it will take the ac power and it will generate the dc power and it will take the dc power and it will generate the ac power next it is mechanically 
we have another name it is mechanically rotating full wave uncontrolled rectifier or mechanically rotating full wave uncontrolled inverter so we can name it as the another thing that is it is mechanically rotating part that means it is a rotating part so commutator is the rotating part and full wave uncontrolled rectifier you know that what is the rectifier operation of the rectifier generally the rectifier is for to convert the ac supply to the dc supply that is the main intention of the rectifier and what about inverter otherwise inverter is simple thing it is converts dc supply to ac supply so ac to dc it is from the dc generators it is used in dc generators and it is conversion from dc to ac it is from the dc motor it is from the dc generator and it is from the dc motor okay so that's why it is called mechanically rotating full wave uncontrolled rectifier or inverter okay next it is made with the hard drawn copper okay the commutator is made with hard drawn copper so the most important thing it is only made with the copper only because it is nothing but commutator is converter but it is used as a conductor that's why it is made with the hard drawn copper okay so this is the basics of the dc machine and the parts of the dc machine and about the commutator okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you